Welcome back. You're watching the Gadgets and Gizmo show with me, Siddharth Sharma. Now, Android came up with a new update. It's called Android Lollipop or Android L. It's soon coming on many modern day smart devices who are already running Android KitKat. So let's see how is Android L different and what are the new features on it. Google is all set to roll out the all new Android L or Lollipop on Android devices. The first ones to get the Android L update will be the Nexus lineup and then more will follow. So let's see what new features the new Android L will bring for consumers. Performance is all set to go to the next level for Android devices on the Lollipop update. Android L is set up to be the biggest overhaul in the Android performance as it will support 64-bit processors and it will also support the ART software library. The first smartphone that can last for three days on charge will be a very popular device. Google promises that Android L can change that via a new battery saving mode known as Project Volta. This will allow developers to identify how their apps are using battery so they can make improvements. Android L will also make notifications very useful. For starters, you'll be able to get notifications on the lock screen and they will be automatically ordered in priority. Android L will also feature a new design language and Google says it's called Material Design. App interfaces will now feature touches of color automatically generated based on the content and there are new animations and touch feedback. Lollipop will support devices with different screen sizes including variables such as smartwatches, TVs and cars. The new update is designed to be flexible so that it can work on multiple devices and customized for your needs. The camera is also improved. It will support features like burst mode and fine setting tuning. You'll also be able to capture full resolution frames around 30 frames per second. With a refreshed look and feel and a promise of performance, only time will tell whether Android L will be a hit or a miss among the users. Now when Microsoft bought Nokia, everyone thought that their favorite nostalgic smartphone company would be safe. But sadly, Microsoft started killing the company and they put the final nail in the coffin when they announced that no longer the new Nokia phones that are going to come out will have the Nokia branding. Next up, this story. Microsoft officially unveiled its first smartphone without Nokia branding, Lumia 535 last week. The smartphone will be available in dual SIM and single SIM variants from November 2014 in the Western world at an estimated price of Rs 8,000. There's no information on the Indian pricing and release of the phone right now. Lumia 535 sports a 5-inch QHD IPS LCD display with coordinating Gorilla Glass 3. The phone will be powered by a 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 200 quad-core processor and 1 GB of RAM. It comes with 8 GB internal storage and supports micro SD card slots of up to 128 GB for expansion. The phone has a 19 of 5 milliampere battery as well. Lumia 535 looks similar to the Lumia 530 but does not sport any Nokia branding. The look and the design lines are similar to Nokia's Lumia series but it's rather a bit odd to see Microsoft written instead of Nokia on the phone. Maybe it will take time to get used to it but for now it's bye bye for Nokia on the Lumia phones. Next up, we get you a review of a smartphone that could be the last Nokia-branded Lumia review on gadgets and gizmos. Yes, we're talking about the Lumia 830. Let's take a look. The Lumia 830 is an affordable flagship smartphone from Nokia and bears all the usual design hallmarks seen on the premium end of the Lumia range. The plastic back panel is a matte finish while the metal edge harkens back to the bigger sibling, the Lumia 930. The Lumia's 835 inch has a 1280 by 720 resolution with a pixel density of 226 ppi. This is not a full HD display but the IPS LCD panel is quite bright. The Lumia 830 is shipping with the Microsoft Windows Denim update which brings an impressive raft of changes for the Windows Phone in general. And as usual, the Windows Phone feels like a good operating system right on the verge of becoming great but still not quite there. 
The Lumia's 83010 megapixel camera comes with the optical image stabilization and Zeiss optics that qualifies under Nokia's PureView banner. The image quality is really good and you also get auto HDR and dynamic flash as well as better low light shooting. The Lumia 830 packs a quad-core Snapdragon 400 running at 1.2GHz. Quite low-end by today's standards, but you won't notice any lags as performance is neatly optimized on the Lumia 830. Lumia 830 packs a 2200 mAh battery and the reduced processor speed and lower screen resolution means there is a lot less to drain the power so it easily lasts you for a day with some juice still left in it. Holding the unbelievable position of being one of the last scions of Nokia, the Lumia 830 does its dynasty proud. It's a well-made phone, smartly designed and with solid mid-range performance. At a price tag of 28,248 rupees, it's almost a complete package and a superb phone that Nokia made on its way out. Now last year when GTA 5 released, fans went berserk. Millions and millions of copies were sold and all gaming records were broken by Rockstar. And everyone was wondering when will Rockstar release the GTA 5 for the modern day consoles such as the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Well, Rockstar has heard them and they are coming out with GTA 5 on November the 18th. And PC lovers, there's a kick for you as well. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. Rockstar Games has updated their blockbuster video game Grand Theft Auto 5 for next generation consoles and it looks amazing. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. The critically acclaimed game was praised for its narrative storytelling and stunning action sequences. The monsters. Players could switch between three main characters to complete missions in a variety of ways see life through the eyes of three very different protagonists. Good to see you, dog. Continue the search for the truth. And now the hit game has been given a new lease of life and will be re-released on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on November 18th. My daddy was not nice to me. For the first time ever, developers have introduced a proper first-person mode and will run in a 1080p at 30 frames per second. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Levels of details and water and light effects have also been upgraded and terrain will be more realistic. There will also be new weapons and vehicles in which you could tear around the fictional city of Los Santos. It's just one long mystery. Ooh. As a bonus, gamers will also be able to transfer their saved games from the PS3 and the Xbox 360 versions of their blockbuster heist title. GTA 5 on the PS4 and Xbox One is the next-gen console gaming experience you have been waiting for. So gear up and get ready to re-enter the world of Grand Theft Auto in style. And with that, it's time for us to say goodbye on this edition of the Gadgets and Gizmo show. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, tweet us at HLT Gizmos. You can also email us on htgg at artstuck.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Until then, live long and prosper.